de lac. Oh, no, yeah, cac de lac. All right, welcome. <laughs> I'm taking Russian lessons. You're, you're welcome Obviously. back to News Hub. Uh, <laughs> and we have the discussion this morning. Uh, we, we can laugh because a lot of people have found um, their way out of crisis. And many of them are beginning right. to reshape their life and taking a day at a time. Many thanks to uh, what people are doing, for example, like uh, Blessing and Mubosa. Blessing, great to have you join us on News Hub. And uh, it's a pleasure um, to see you this week. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Brilliant, brilliant. And um, we also have um, joining Blessing this morning. We have, um, I, I know there's been an update in the, in the guest list, uh, just real quickly. Uh, we have Dr. Marachi Mojeku. Uh, it's been a while we spoke with Dr. Marachi Mojeku, but uh, thank you very much. And for the great work you continue to do in Ukraine, uh, Dr. Mojeku. All right. Well, well, can you un unmute your device? It, it looks that like you're still. Can you hear me now? Yes, we hear you loud and clear, and we're delighted we can see you again. Awesome. My life is bad. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Great. Great. So the, la the last time you, we spoke with you, you're talking about the great work you were doing, the humanitarian work you were doing, putting yourself in the line of fire just to get help to people, and. Um, it's great that we see that you're up and, up and about still. So give us an update on what, what's been happening so far. Oh, yeah. So the work continues, right? Um, it's work. And it's not like it's ending anytime soon, you know, just considering what we're hearing and all the news flying around. But then the impact of the work can be felt every day in the lives of people, you know, um, families. A lot of people have lost their homes and people are on the streets. So we are here supporting them, helping them get through every day, you know, to even prevent some people from committing suicide. But you know, whilst I'm doing my work, I'm seeing that there's still a lot of Nigerians who are still here. I know that's not in the news, but yeah, there are people who are not documented and some of these people, they don't want to show their faces and they don't want to go to another European country because they don't know what their fate will be. And so they are hiding in the streets, they are everywhere. So what I've decided to do is, and that's what I'm doing now. So I'm gathering them, I'm telling them that they're not alone. They have somebody, let's talk about it. Let's see what we can do to support you. And I've been able to figure some countries that they can go to where their rules are not that strict. So even if they were not documented in Ukraine, we can easily move them to some of these countries um, like Portugal and some other countries. So that's what I've been working on um, throughout the week. I've been counseling a lot of them, bringing them, getting them cleaned up, getting them food, accommodation. And in fact, I even started a center just for them. And this is what I have here. It's called Center for, for Black Revenants in Ukraine. So I'm saying if you need counseling, if you need accommodation, if you need food supplies, clothing, borders, crossing, documentary issues, documentation issues, just let me know. All right, um, that's a good one. Thanks for all that you do, uh, Dr. Mojeku. We'll get to bless in just a moment. Tell us the atmosphere in Kyiv, uh, I mean, the war situation. Can you give us uh, on the spot assessment of what you're seeing on the ground? Okay, so on the ground, like I said, um, there, were, there were a lot of damages that had been done, that have already been done. And, you know, so we have... Oh, uh, okay. We have a lot of places that... Sorry. Please go on. Oh, okay. We'll, we'll wait for you Hello? to... Okay, yes, please. Go ahead, please. Claire now. Yes, yes. So yeah, awesome. So I was saying that, so because we have a lot of places that were burnt down, we have a lot of people who are stranded. So just right now, what we have going on is a lot of fear because we don't know where the next rocket is. Which is why we are making every... Oh, well, we do hope that you'll be able to land on this statement. We'll get back to you in a moment, Dr. Mosheko. All right, let's, let's, let's get to Blessed uh, Emosa to uh, uh, get some of her thoughts also to uh, the unfolding story. Uh, Blessed, are you, are you still there? Yes, I'm here. Excellent. Um, like Dr. Mara was 
was saying uh, there are a lot of uh, missiles, uh, although um, the Russian um, um, troops have not invaded um, Kiev, but every other city around Kiev and other cities in Ukraine have been affected seriously, and their safety is really not guaranteed. Even if they want to stay, it's not sure. And so that's why uh, Dr. Mara is also one of those, uh, one of FSN aid members, and she's among the counseling and uh, conflict resolution revolution uh, officer who helps people over there and she's been doing a great work even helping the older people because i was talking to her together and said um i think as time goes on it's time for you to leave yourself and she was saying that it's not leaving as a thing as a human being she's seen all this uh, old people and families even if she leaves on her own where the funding even for her and other people to leave because majority of the funds she has gotten assistance from other ngos and other people have been spent on other uh, on the students and those who she has met that are stranded so it's um, right now we're trying to see how to raise funds for her and those undocumented nigerians who are are not willing to come back home at least um, other countries like portugal have accepted to uh, take them in so we're pleading to well-being nigerians to reach out to us at www.fsna.org or um, also or also reach out to silverbed to contribute the little that they can in order for people like dr amara to be able to move forward and be able to help and be able to transit those people in need so so far now it's um it's it's really it's really challenging for her. She's really done a whole lot, despite her health challenges she has faced, despite a whole lot of things that have been happening over in Ukraine. All right. Um, I mean, it's good to have someone who would, I mean, on humanitarian grounds, risk it all and be willing to go, you know, beg over backwards for others to be okay, and that's uh, highly commendable. But let, let's talk about updates on other moves that you've been making to help other students who've been displaced as well as other Nigerians and not necessarily students. Uh, can you give us an update? Uh, well, we're having, um, we're trying to get the non-students to um, do write their proposals and business plans and those who have kids to see how they could also get um, shelters and stability for their family because we're having a lot of challenges where uh, most of them are saying we always keep on sending funds to um, the students and we're not looking at them and um, we're trying to create a structure and uh, send out um, requests for financial assistance for those who are not students. Um, we've had a little bit of progress, but most times it's quite difficult, but some of them we have where if one parent have their documents and another parent is not a Ukrainian citizen or one parent is just a permanent resident. And then in European countries, we've seen situations where uh, they they would not want to give assistance to those who and who are don't have Ukrainian passports or even a resident, even if you're married to a Ukrainian or even if you um, stayed there for so many years and you have documentation to show that you have stayed there for so many years. So it's a work in progress. It's not an overnight uh, thing. Oh, all right, and uh, I, I, I admit uh, it's a real work in progress. It's Johnny, uh, actually, with what um, a blessing is done with the FSN aid. I mean, we, we searched from the infancy and how it happened. Uh, we cannot reconnect with Dr. Amara Chimojeku, but uh, you cannot dispute the work she's been doing um, for the stranded Nigerians and the humanitarian work which um, Blessing talks about. You're going to be here again tomorrow, Blessing, but um, I, I was going to ask a, a question about the sort of work you're still doing uh, with Dr. Mojeku, because um, obviously there are Nigerians who are still stranded in Ukraine and will require help, uh, not just now, but perhaps also in the long term, if you can't get them out of Ukraine. Yes, um, we, 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 like she said, um, those that are undocumented, uh, like countries like Portugal have agreed that when they come into their country, they would um, have them documented and placed in the system. And of course, they will stay in shelter for some while. But the thing is, getting them transportation service from where they are in Ukraine outside um, um, Ukraine. It will cost them over, so far we, we have like 20 of them, but at least 10 of them which we, sh um, Dr. Amar has physically seen, and let's say if you want to get it, cost, each person is cost over $2,500 or more to move them out of Ukraine presently, and that we're talking about almost um, 30 something thousand dollars and if we're saying 20 of them we're talking about over 60 something thousand dollars and so that's that's a whole lot of money in this uh, economy and um, we're also trying to see how to make other provisions 
um, if we can substitute, because a lot of them do not even have food to eat presently. Some of them are saying, if I come back to Nigeria, that means my life is going to end because they are suicidal as states. They are very depressed. It's more like the war has really affected them more than they thought because by now a lot of people thought the war would be ended. We also see where the Russian and the Chinese, uh, China government have collaborated to have their um, a currency, foreign uh, currency where they'll be able to trade. And I think that's where a lot of Africans are missing it, where we do not realize that a time is going to come where every person, every Nigerian's help is going to be needed to grow this country. Because if uh, per adventure anything happened in every part, any part of the world, Africa is going to be the um, resting place or the hideout for so many other Western countries. And yet we are not empowering our own. And yet we are not even seeing the youths and the, uh, the, the children of tomorrow, the leaders of tomorrow, we are not seeing them have been valuable. And um, I, I think that's something our government should look into and the leaders should think about and try to restructure ways on how to take care of those even are outside the country. So they'll be happy to come back home, even in times of crisis like this. All right, thank you so much. Uh, blessing, uh, we wish we can go on and on with you, but it's now is another day when we hope to still have you on the program to give us more insight into all that you're doing as well as the other associates in helping Nigerians who've been displaced in Ukraine and um, in neighboring countries now and even those who are in there like Dr. Mojek who are doing good in Ukraine. Thank you once again, uh, Bless the Mobosa of FSN Aid. We thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. And have uh, a nice day. Thank you. Also would like to talk Dr. Amarach Mojek who's presently in Kiev. Uh, a medical director, an internal medicine humanitarian who's helping Nigerians displaced there. Many of them, according to her, undocumented and who need help to get back uh, their lives, so to speak. So thank you so much for joining us on the program, too. Right. So it's good to end on a high. Nigeria's making us proud, right? Absolutely. Right. <laughs> All right, so that's the show. We thank you very much for being part of it today. Monday to Friday, this is what we do, 7 o'clock to 9.50 in the morning. We'll bring you news hub. Tomorrow will not be an exception. Join us then. I am Shion Oyedeji, wishing you a beautiful day. And until tomorrow is Rashush Kwaheri.